Welcome to this Advanced Master of Science in Tiglutology information session. My name is Natalie Rommel and I am the Program Director. On behalf of the staff, I welcome you to this session and thank you for your interest. Deglutology refers to the science of deglutition or swallowing. It reflects the integrated care of patients with swallowing disorder and it's linked in with many different professional fields. Examples are otolaryngology, gastroenterology, speech pathology, radiology, pediatrics, neonatology, neurology, thoracic surgery, pneumology or respiratory medicine, oncology, geriatrics, dietetics, etc. So it's clear that it's a multidisciplinary field. Over the last decade there has been a striking increase in the prevalence of patients with swallowing disorders and the impact of dysphagia on patients and patient care became evident. And yet there was a lack of DORO structured education. So the aim of our Master of Science in Deglutology is to train competent professionals in deglutology who can manage the clinical care of patients with dysphagia and dysphagia related to the mouth, throat, but also the esophagus. The focus within our program lies in a theoretical, in-depth, evidence-based education. We focus on clinical, diagnostic and therapeutic skills across lifespan. So we, s we study dysphagia within the neonatal population, across childhood, adolescence, adulthood and the elderly. We have taken the view that we need to train the deglutologist within the CAMMAT roles, which means that they need to learn to function as a clinician, communicator, collaborator, manager, healthcare improver, scientist and professional. The program that I am presenting to you today is a Master of Science in Deglutology and that means it needs to adhere to the strict rules of the EU with the Bologna Convention. So the strengths of our program in terms of education is the fact that it is a formal master degree approved by the Flemish Ministry of Education in Belgium in February 2015 and four years later we were awarded the formal EU accreditation that was in 2019 after an in-depth evaluation by an international accreditation body steered by the Ministry of Education in Belgium. We're very proud to say that we have received an excellent review and that the program was complemented for its quality and relevance. The, the review board emphasized that the master program for dysphagia care in aging population was specifically of high future importance. I'm also very happy to say that we can offer a nice blend of theoretical in-depth education with clinically driven internships. All our internships take place at the University Hospital in Leuven and our hospital was in 2019 awarded the prestigious GCI quality label for the fourth time. The program is carried by a group of international and national experts on dysphagia. Each of the professors has been selected for their track record and their clinical and scientific expertise in relation to swallowing disorders. And as you can see, we have selected numerous professors so that they could focus on their specific topic of expertise so that we are able to offer that to you in one cluster program. The master program is a one-year full-time academic program. It consists of 60 ECTS credits. It's a modular system and students can compose their own study program according to their personal availability in case they would work or are unable to attend the full-time course. 
However, we have chosen to give no online courses. It's our academic vision that um, on on-site deglutology education with skills training, clinical electives and in-person teaching is vital to our learning objectives. Um, we not only want to wish you a theoretical and clinical bay, but we also would like to elaborate on your communication and social skills. Our vision implies that we strongly support um, the purpose to do the program on campus and it may be possible due to COVID-19 that some classes will have to be taught online but we are not aiming to give online teaching, we aim to give you in-person training. Our program consists of seven core elements. It consists of research, management and communication, anatomy, physiology and pathophysiology of deglutition, diagnostics of deglutition, treatment of deglutition, a clinical elective and advanced research topics. And each of these seven core elements have been awarded a number of ECTS credits. First, we focus on the anatomy and pathophysiology of deglutition. Not only adult deglutition and its disorders is covered, but we also take a lot of time to focus on pediatric and neonatal dysphagia. For both of our populations, we try to look from different angles to the disorders that are seen in those populations and we've tried to specify as much as we can to cover all pathology that is related to these typical age groups. Secondly, we focus on the diagnosis of deglutition. Apart from a theoretical course on the assessment of deglutition, we also focus a lot of time and effort on the clinical diagnostic skills. Um, we train you in screening and non-instrumental assessment with very up-to-date courses and the most recent available assessment scales that are published. We train you in video fluoroscopy, flexible endoscopic evaluation of swallowing and high resolution manometry impedance. Apart from those instrumental assessments, we train you in basic life support. We teach you how to do blood sampling for biochemical analysis and how to place a nasogastric catheter. All of these skills are then assessed by means of an objective structured clinical examination or OSCE. Also in terms of treatment of deglutition we focus on both pediatric and adult patients and uh, numerous lectures and courses are covering all different aspects and the most state-of-the-art treatments available for our patients. The fourth part of our course is the clinical elective or the clinical internship in the University Hospitals in Leuven. It's the perfect opportunity for you to apply your knowledge, your skills and your personal attitudes in the real work setting. Um, many different aspects of dysphagia management are uh, currently performed and you can learn it in both formal and informal ways. We assess every student via a portfolio and we look at their process and um, it's we work with a rotation system um, many different settings such as the outpatient clinic for adult chronic dysphagia where um, a clinical assessment and fees is performed um, where we also have an in team meeting where all patients are discussed um, we allow you to be in the multidisciplinary outpatient clinic for children with eating and swallowing disorders also with a team meeting. You can come and observe and participate within radiology where we um, perform combined video fluoroscopy and manometry in our clinic. The students are also um, welcome in the neurogastroenterology and motility clinic where we do adult and pediatric manometry clinics. And finally, um, we also see patients with our students 
in the swallowing rehabilitation outpatients and inward units and for example this is in head and neck oncology in the neonatal intensive care unit in the cleft palate clinic um, patients with neurogenic dysphagia the geriatric wards um, patients who are admitted because of cardiac and thoracic surgery and psychiatry so there's a whole variety of clinic patients that are seen and covered during the clinical elective. Apart from the theory and the clinical electives, we also think it's important that you develop yourself as a researcher. We give you deglutology science and research training and we let you participate in research and research meeting. Um, we teach you uh, methods and um, scientific writing and all of this is then integrated in the master thesis. It's basically a scientific research paper on a deglutology topic um, that needs to be written as an article, a manuscript prepared as it should go to an international um, journal. And topics are presented and offered to the students from a list or the student can come up with a personal suggestion. The sixth core element of our program are the advanced deglutology topics. These are aspects that are not covered in other courses but are absolutely crucial to the field of deglutology. Examples are dietetics and complementary nutrition, respiratory medicine, the neuropsychology of dysphagia, rumination and belching, deep brain stimulation in the context of dysphagia, oral hygiene, genetics of dysphagia and rheology. We also focus on the future directions in dysphagia management and on some hot topics in dysphagia. So for example, um, one of the hot topics at the moment is telehealth and how to perform that during COVID time. The final core element of our program is management and communication. We think it's very important as a deglutologist that you can work within a bioethical frame and therefore we think quality of care and patient safety, centeredness, the duty of care, truth-telling, informed consent, duty to warn, the refusal of information and treatment, also advanced request and refusal, best interest of the patients and treatment of patients and children that are lacking the capacity to consent. We think these are all very important aspects that should be covered within our field and we cannot stress enough how important we feel that this is um, added to the program. Now a typical academic calendar at the University of Leuven um, looks like this. In the first semester um, we start from September to December and the first exam period is in January. The second semester starts in February and goes till June. The second exam period is in June and in the beginning of July there is graduation and proclamation. For those students who failed an exam in January or in June, they can sit the third exam period within August of September. When you are ready to embark on this deglutology adventure or if you would consider taking the Master of Deglutology, it's crucial for you to understand what your career prospects are. So what do we have to offer to healthcare professionals who already clinically work with dysphagia? We will give you an in-depth training as a physiology and as a clinician, but more so in unique diagnostic, instrumental and therapeutic skills. For researchers, we train you in clinical and applied research and all of this is guided within greatly functioning research departments and we guide you with experts in the skills, developing the skills of grant writing. We also believe we offer interesting information to medical doctors and speech pathologists who are involved in policy. There is a growing need in the medical care for managers and communicators who know the background information um, and definitely in deglutology and in swallowing disorders there's a lot of need um, for lobbying and for patient and pathology awareness throughout Europe, throughout the States. 
So we think this is a vital skill that needs to be developed by people who are working within the field of deglutology. Most importantly, we believe that our graduates are trained within the integration of these three key roles and that makes them exceptional. Who can apply to the program? Anyone who holds a master's degree in medicine, speech-language pathology, dentistry, physiotherapy or occupational therapy can apply for the program. Also, those of you who have an equivalent four or five year bachelor degree with access to higher degree education, such as, for example, first class honors, will be considered. On a first come first serve balance, we can take between 15 and 30 people each year. Students that are applying from outside the European U Union have to apply via the KU Leuven Admissions Service. Therefore, you need to provide detailed credentials of your prior education, a curriculum vitae, which shows your work experience and competencies. You need to show proof of your English proficiency with a formal yield test or a TOEFL test. You need to write a motivation letter and two letters of recommendations are needed to fulfill your application. Students from within the EU need to apply via an application form and they need to show detailed credentials of prior education, curriculum vitae, a motivation letter and two recommendation letters as well. The tuition fee for a one-year program and 60 ECTS credits is 6,600 euro. This fee covers access to all courses as well as the examination provides support from the student services of the university, gives you access to all social services, so this means the student employment office, medical and psychotherapeutic centers, the student restaurants and student advice office. You can use all university libraries, all university information technology infrastructure and electronic learning environment Toledo. We are sad, but there are at this point no scholarships available from the KU Leuven but if you would have the chance for external funding we will always formally support your application. So our take-home message for you would be please feel welcome at the Master of Science in Deglutology at KU Leuven. It's the first program in its kind, both national as well as international, since 2019. It's one year, it's English, and it's an advanced master program. Um, we think it is a thorough academic program, and we created it to meet the need for quality education and training of skilled clinicians in the care of dysphagia. This need became very apparent by the worldwide increasing prevalence of swallowing disorders and the fast current scientific progress within the field of deglutology. We hope we will be able to welcome you. We would love to train you and more so we would like to teach you in person all the skills and knowledge we have. Please feel welcome. If you would have any questions or any uncertainties, please contact us either via the website, via email, Facebook or Twitter. We are there to answer your questions and we really look forward to welcome you. Thank you for watching.